Hi, my name is Lisa Timmerman, and I'm the Executive Site Manager of Historic Dumfries, Virginia, the nonprofit that operates the Weems Botts Museum. I'm here today to talk about the book written by Mason Locke Weems, A History of the Life and Death of George Washington, one of the first biographies of George Washington. This book was published in 1800 anonymously at first, and it was only about 80 pages. It celebrated the life of George Washington. George Washington had just died in 1799, so it was considered a great book into his character, and it sold very well. It's very interesting that the first edition, actually the first through fourth editions, do not mention a cherry tree, and that, along with some of the other fables, come in the fifth edition. However, we named our museum partially for Weems because this book was seen as such a great reminder of George Washington when a country was reeling, uh, looking for a new president in 1800. Mason Locke Weems was definitely a fan of George Washington, even writing him letters while he was alive. We think he knew his family through church. However, we also think he exaggerated quite a bit on some of the fables. In 1798, though, he purchased this property, and we believe he used this space as his book depot. Some historians like to speculate he might have had the idea for the cherry tree story in Dumfries as he lived here, and he also had a bookstore in Dumfries. But we know that this building was used as his book depot, um, although people do still like to speculate about where the idea came from.